started and someone in there I said these big bowls are really easy to make. Uh, they do require a little muscle, but uh, actually you're you're raising the clay very little. And uh, most of the pot is supported by the solid clay underneath. A large quantity of which you turn away as the pot is being finished, of course. So you don't really mess with much with centering it right away, and then I mean you're just steady enough to keep it centered the whole ride, right? Yeah. 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 Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> centering, is, centering is only to enable you to form the clay, you know. Okay. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing aesthetically uh, powerful about a well-centered pot. Okay. On the other hand, there's nothing aesthetically powerful about an offset pot. Yeah. I mean, it's just that they're, they're just two different characteristics. A pot can have either one. Okay. But uh, people think that uh, uh, a pot has to be round. Well, it doesn't have to be round. And in fact, you know, uh, I, I used to talk to my students about saying. I say, you know, don't worry too much about centering because what you think is centered, if you talk to a precision machinist and talk to, and you said this is round, he would laugh at you. <laughs> because to him that's not round. Uh -huh. uh, but for for you, if it's round enough, well it's okay. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. You still have to but it is still important <laughs> for beginners to kind of get that. It is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, you know, a, a great violinist might play with uh, a great deal of expression, <coughs> which is not perhaps just hitting every note exactly right, because there there are other things in there which is important. But he has to know how to hit those notes right mm -hmm. in order to do the other things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of this kind of clay? Yeah. We'll see. 